Hello guys, Woohoo here, back with another video. This time around, guiding you through the new quest line there is for uh, the absolute devastation, which actually just uh, means that uh, in the end you're getting one of the devs' allies. One of these devs' allies is like the Streamer Dreamer allies that was based on streamers. Now they've also made some for the um, some of the devs. Or I, maybe all of them, I should know, no, but there's a lot of in them there. And uh, if you want to see which one I got, you got to go to the end. I'll show up which one I got on this one. And if this guide, uh, of course, helped you out, make sure you guys liked and also maybe subscribe. Put a comment below what you liked about it and whatnot. And without further ado, let's just jump into step one. All right, so step one is to uh, collect five cupcakes and of course you do that only in Kandoria so just go to the uh, basically the easiest world there is there is uh, I think it's prime world three that is also where you kind of find the most resources if you're in like this week is of course infinium week so that's also a good place to go but besides that uh, collect five cupcakes and you might be wondering what is that is little thing or big thing on top of my cupcakes well that's actually a mod called waypoints and is really good to gathering things like cupcakes or like enchanted wood or mushrooms or whatever so it's a really good mod it's uh nothing that is standard maybe it's going to be at that at some point probably not but uh that is basically step one so let's jump on to step two all right step two is to go to the fey biome and collect five enchanted wood and as we did in step one it's pretty easy with the mod if you can get your hold of that if you're not playing on consoles of course and just go uh, collect five of them just like you did uh, like step one and that is you completing step two so let's jump on over to step three all right we are on step three and just Step three is, of course, to kill 20 bees or fireflies. And I suggest you go to the absolute the first world you can go to because that has the most medieval highlands. And uh, that means that it also has the most bees or bee-like creatures, fireflies and such. And you just run around to feed uh, 20 of these and you are pretty set on step three. And we can head on to uh, step four. All right, we are on step four, and step four is to defeat uh, dungeon bosses in the Treasure Islands or the Lost Islands. And as you can see here, you just have to go to the area that has the uh, rotor or uh, I don't know what it's called, the one you steer boats with. <laughs> uh, that area, just go to that one and you can go and defeat these uh, dungeons. You got uh, 10 of them. As you can see on the map there, it's the ones, like I said, with the one you steer the boats with. And you just, just go there, do 10 dungeons, and uh, you are on to step 5. Alright, step 5 is a little bit different. You just have to collect 10 golden seashells. And here's a picture of it. Uh, it kind of skipped this one while I was doing the other dungeons and such. So... Uh, you just have to collect 10 doesn't very take very long you can sail around shoot the the crates around and get them like that or just defeat a few more dungeons from step uh, four and you will have 10 of these so not very very uh, hard step but uh, just wanted to mention it so you can get on to step six all right, step six is to collect 200 crystallized clouds. And what you want to do is to go to the air world and you want to kind of go off the map, as you can see right here on the map, I'm showing it right now. You can see that you have to go outside, go to these islands, uh, bomb it or just mine it, whatever. I'm doing this on a Tuesday. So if you want to do it a little bit faster, you can do it on a Tuesday, but it doesn't really matter. You can get it on any day you want to. And I spent like two, three minutes doing this and again, very, very easy step and uh, just collect those 200 and you are on to step seven. All right, step seven is to defeat three uh, robotic spiders in the Neon City biome and make sure you are in the Neon City biome because if you are in the sub biome, it will not count. So if it doesn't count towards it, it means that you're just in the wrong one. Just got to continue finding more uh, of the spiders in the Neon City biome and that will complete your step seven and we can jump on to step eight. 
All right, step eight is to defeat a uh, Dark Fae Queen and make sure you find a dungeon that says that. It says, as I was pointing at right there, what it is. And you just go through the dungeons, defeat the boss. Uh, you won is one of the best ones there uh, is to find bi Fae Biome. And it was kind of like, yeah, the first dungeon I actually encountered. So that was kind of lucky, but you don't have to go very far to defeat these. And that is step eight. So let's see the ally uh, in action. All right, here I is, then am, and what I got was the Twilight Toaster, which is the Twixler's, the dev's ally. And I think it's a very, very neat little, small, great little event. So if uh, you are not thinking about doing it, make sure you guys do it because it's absolutely a very fun, small, amazing little uh uh, event for sure and if you just want the full guide uh, from Torvosaurus you can go to the description and just check it all out there again I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one bye